Today we're talking about Nightwing and the journey that I went on collecting those comics. Nightwing. Nightwing. Nightwing? Nightwing. 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 Nightwing? Nightwing. Nightwing. <laughs> Here's the point I'm getting at. I like Nightwing. This is where it started. We've talked about it with the Batman comics. I started with the New 52. That was what was releasing when I got into comics. And a buddy of mine who was getting me into that started telling me about Nightwing and Dick Grayson and his leaving Robin and becoming his own and setting out. And I was like, man, this story sounds cool. And then I started reading the New 52 Nightwing. And I was like, hooked. And then, while we were collecting and going through, we had the vintage ones. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but the first series that ran through. And not the mini series that was here, the actual series. And I started finding these at comic conventions and being able to pick them up for not too much, some of them. Some of these are marked for multiple dollars because that's how much I had to pay to get some of them. I started collecting Nightwing and I found out that it wasn't an insane amount of issues like Batman. I could actually collect all of Nightwing and that's what I did. I have boxes filled with every issue of the original series, all 151. 153, I was close. I have that before it changed over to New 52. I also have uh, before he actually started his series with Nightwing Alfred's return in 1995. The 1995 series ran for 153 issues, as I mentioned. The New 52 ran for 30 something, I don't remember. And then Rebirth started running and that's where I dropped off because I couldn't afford to. But I think I'm going to go back to starting to purchase more as soon as I can and have the money for it. Nightwing was really cool. I like the story. I like the character. Uh, I like Batman and Batman associated things. And Nightwing just seemed even cooler. The costume, the blue, really liked that. I know that he had a red one for a while there. They've done a few. Yeah, New 52, he was red. Um, yeah, that stuff. It took me years, but eventually I did collect all of them. And I just, I wanted to have them all. That was that was the series, that was the goal, to get all of them. There's even one point, somebody happened to mention to me, I went into a comic store back in Georgia as I was going through, and I was finding a few that I was missing off of my list. And somebody, I was purchasing them, and the girl behind the counter was like, oh, Nightwing, yeah, that's really cool. You ever notice how he's always like bound or gagged in like every other issue? Every three, four issues, he's in some way ensnared, and I went, Nope, I didn't. And now I can't unsee that. So thank you, girl at the comic shop. I'd been collecting these for years at that point and had somehow never noticed it. It became a point of pride to try to find them. And that was my thing. My buddy, he was all into Nightwing and talked about it, but he, he had a bigger thing for Batgirl. That's not how I should phrase that. He really liked Batgirl. That was what he was trying to collect all the issues of a run of that. And then we he had the plan, I don't know if it ever came to fruition and he did it, to have them like bound in leather. You could send your comic collection off to someone that you would trust and they would uh, remove the staples and actually take the pages and turn it into a book and then bind it in leather and make a nice series out of however many issues would fit. And I thought about doing that with Nightwing and I never did. And I think I like having them individually as as individual issues here. Collecting this took years. Having a spreadsheet at all points in time, I remember at some times I would go to the comic conventions and I saw other people with pieces of paper. And at that point I had a netbook, a little laptop, a mini laptop that was almost useless. And I thought, oh, there we go. That could be useful. I could make my entire collection of what I'm missing digital and then bring that in my backpack and pull that out. And then I'd be able to reference this. This was really before I had a smartphone, but it was more irritating to look at that or so I thought. So then I loaded it up and I thought I'll take that with me. And then it stayed in the backpack the entire time because it was too inconvenient to keep pulling it in and out, trying to reference the list of what was going on. I do have some duplicates, uh, not in New 52, but some of them I definitely do because, well, my list keeping and referencing was not perfect. <laughs> and so the collection would grow. 
going into comic conventions in order to find all the old issues that I was missing and try to complete a collection, getting all the new 52 ones every month. Uh, every week we would go to the comic book shop and we would pick up the ones. We had an account there and we told them which ones we wanted to save and they would save them and then we'd go buy them. And then eventually I ran out of money and couldn't afford to do that anymore. And I always felt guilty because they called me and were like, hey, we got a big stack of comics here. You should come get these. And I went, oh, now it's way too much. And I can't go in there and like pick and choose what I want. Like, people did. I know that they did that and I never wanted to be one of those people. So I just never went into that comic shop ever again. And then eventually we got back into collecting comics with Rebirth. And when that started happening and I started picking up some of them, I was ordering these online. And I've got the receipts from Discount Comic Book Service where I was able to order them and get discounted prices so I could buy 13 comics here and instead pay $25 instead of the sticker price, which is really nice. And that got out of control. Every month I would get a big box of comics. I may go back into getting these to see. I don't know where Nightwing is at today. I definitely read some of Rebirth. I read New 52 and I always wanted to hold off on reading the original series until I had them all so that I could just read everything. And that day has finally come. I now have all of the original series. I have it digitally as well, thankfully, and that's how I'm going to start doing it. And that was the two parts to this video that I wanted to make. One, I'm really happy that I collected all of these. These are really cool. I, I enjoy looking at some of them. I flipped through. I started reading at one point. I read through the mini series and went, yeah, this is nice. All right, I'm, I'm digging. I'm, I'm really happy that I got all of these and that I can actually finally read them all. <laughs> And then I dropped off and I never read them. Unfortunately, I just got busy and put them down and never thought about picking them up again. And now it's finally the time. And that's why I wanted to start this. And I especially was ready to do it months ago. And I waited because I wanted to wait until after the move. My idea was that I might have room in the closet to set up a second recording area and then record videos for a different series. I might see if I could get a used wing back chair, maybe a smoking vest and just like make a whole thing of it. That's not going to happen. I don't have the budget for that. I don't have the room to set up another thing, but I still want to do my other point of doing it, which was to start reading the comics again. And since apparently in my life at this point, if I'm going to do something and I want to put effort into it, I'm going to make a video out of it. So going forward, probably once a month, I'll put out a video where I read comics. I will have read them, I will read an arc at a time, and then discuss and talk about why I liked it, or etc. if I didn't. I hope I like all of them because I certainly spent a good bit of money and time collecting all of these. <laughs> but it's finally time to do it. And I couldn't think of a better title, I always struggle with titles, but I went, well I'm gonna be reading comics, although in the future I could just read other things, but for now, it's like a comic club. And hence it will be known as Quaft's Quamic Club. And I will never say that again because that's a terrible title. So it'll just be known as the three Q's whenever I post a video. We'll start going through the Nightwings ones probably next month. You'll see a video where I sit down and read the first arc, maybe the mini series. We'll see. I haven't figured out exactly how many I'll be reading, but that's my goal. My goal is to sit down every month and read through some of them, take some notes, write down, then sit down in this camera setup because I definitely don't have room to make any other kind. And I'll look over the issues that I actually have physically and we'll talk about them that I read digitally. That's my plan going forward. After we get done with Nightwing, I've got a lot of comics to go through and I'm really happy that I've got so many. And it's even easier to catalog them now. You know, you can get an app on your phone. What, what do I sound like? What year is this? Yeah, I'm gonna catalog all of my collection of comics because I have plenty and I will be starting to buy comics again probably starting with Nightwing. I'll figure out where I left off on Rebirth and where it's at if they've done yet another reboot at this point or if they're still continuing on from that and the numbering is still going. And I'll start picking up an issue or two here or there until I can complete everything. I guess I'm just gonna buy Nightwing comics until I die. Maybe at some point, if I really have some money to throw around, I might be able to get his first appearance from Superman or from Teen Titans, but I can just imagine those go for quite a bit of money. Nightwing. For all those reasons, the fact that I liked the story, I liked where it was going, I liked the character and the design and the arcs that I did read, the fact that I actually could go back and collect the older issues and it was not an probably impossible task to do. I spent five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years maybe after I started collecting before I finally finished everything. And then I did it. I had all 153 issues, I had the miniseries, I have almost everything. 
and I'm really glad that I did. It's finally time, something like 15 years later, that I sit down and read all of the comics. And so there'll be more of that coming. It goes without saying, but Nightwing is something that I like.